free women's fasting cap. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I have a little bit of a discussion topic that I want to share with you guys. And that is going to be about the supplement Calicurd. Before I get into this, be sure to check out my link in tree account for all of the access to where I get my peptides, the peptide cheat sheet, and how to get in touch with me and how to book a call with me and apply for coaching applications. So be sure to check the description below. That's where that link in tree is located. Um, so let's get into this, this discussion. What prompted me to want to make this video is that I talk about the supplement Calicurb a lot, which is a essentially a GLP-1 supplement. So it's going to be different from taking an injection peptide. It is going to help with the gut microbiome and the food noise and the gut and mind connection to the body to help with appetite suppression. Now, one of the things I get asked a lot is, why do you use this supplement? It has canola oil in it. Don't you avoid canola oil? And to answer that question is that, yes, I avoid canola oil when using it for high cooking temperatures because once canola oil is heated after a certain point, it then manufacturers have synthetics in disgusting products in it that actually release a lot of toxins in the body. And that is where it is bad to use canola oil. So if you were to use a true cold pressed canola oil versus like canola oil that is used at a restaurant to fry something in, your body is going to have a complete different reaction to it. And the reason why is that when canola oil is cold pressed, the omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acid ratio is two to one. Now, once it's been heated, that ratio changes and you want to stay away from it. So it's important to know that you want to keep your omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids between 2 to 1 and 4 to 1. So this basically means for every two parts of omega-6 fatty acids, you want to have one part of omega-3. This is important because this is what's going to help with the inflammation balance in the body. This is going to help your body be less inflamed from oils. So too much omega-6s to omega-3s can lead to inflammation. It can lead to chronic illnesses. It can, you know, that's where we see a lot more markers with um, autoimmune diseases and inflammatory so it's important that you want to keep that in mind. So just to kind of give you a comparison, cold press. Again, this is cold press. You can find cold press. It's very hard to find cold press anything now with oils. I think that whether you're buying cold press olive oil, I don't really believe what we're really getting is what it is sometimes. But okay, so let's go through this a list. Okay, so cold press canola oil, the ratio is going to be two to one. Olive oil is going to be 10 and 1. Avocado oil is going to be 13 to 1. And then coconut oil, for example, is going to be a negligent amount of omega-6 to omega-3 acids, which means it doesn't provide the amount. Like it's negligible, it doesn't register. So this is my reasoning on why I feel perfectly safe and comfortable using Calicur because the canola oil is cold press. So that is going to be a better ratio amount of mega six to omega threes than olive oil and avocado oil, which is something that a lot of people are unaware of. But also keep in mind because one Calicurb uses cold press canola oil, it is going to be fine because your ratio is going to be in a safe range. Not only that, the amount of oil that is in the capsules is a negligent amount, which means that it's such a small carrier oil, it's not going to have effect on the body anyway. So this is a little key tip into understanding the 
um, omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acid ratio and on why I feel comfortable using Calicurb even though it has cold pressed canola oil in it. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you want any more tips or have any more questions about the um, Calicurb supplement, um, feel free to comment below. And um, also don't forget to check out that cheat sheet for women for peptides um, and be on the lookout for some great new updates that I have coming out for you guys. So I hope you guys are doing fabulous wherever you are at in this world today, and I will talk to you guys soon.